Hello, Marie Antonescu here, massagemovement.org, here to talk about basic sitting alignment. So this isn't the way we have to sit all of the time, but it's a great way to know what to come back to, like what to have as our base. Um, and I'll show you with a little pelvis here. So right now I'm sitting with my pelvis like this, and this is a, a neutral pelvis. And now my pelvis tucks back, forward, back, and then I can even tip forward even more. So ideally, I'm in what's called a neutral pelvis, which is ASIS, pubic bone, on the same plane. If I were to put them up against the wall, these three points would touch at the same time. What this does is it puts our body in alignment that we're, that we're designed for. So our ligaments are meant to suspend us here. Our pressure systems are meant for this alignment. And the organs don't have a lot of weight in this alignment. Whereas when we tip back, it's just not the way we're structurally set up for, if that makes sense. So it causes more downward pressure. And also we're pushing in on the sacrum when we're sitting on it. Down here would be the pelvic floor muscles. So we're shortening the pelvic floor muscles. Muscles don't really enjoy being shortened. So they might become like short and tight. Um, muscles tend to not like slack. So when we're sitting with a neutral pelvis, we'll be feeling the weight kind of on the front of our sits bones, those bones on our butt that get all sore when we start riding the bicycle for the first time in the year. Because we can tuck back and still feel our sits bones. So it's kind of more the front part of it. And again, we're not going to be in this position all of the time, but it's a nice one to go back to. When we're in this position, all of our muscles and our core can work a little bit. Instead of when we're back like this, just some has to work a lot. So here, they all get to share the load. Once we're sitting, if it's really hard for us to sit here, because we keep wanting to tuck back, maybe our hamstrings are really tight. So the hip hinge and glide is a really great one to do for hamstring length. We can extend our legs when we're sitting for hamstring variability. Also, maybe raising the seat is something that you need to do so that you can sit up without being tucked under by your hamstrings. <laughs> one thing I like is a dome. And I put it flat side up. And here I can sit on it, I get a little bit of height. And also, it's easier to find neutral because it rocks really nicely. In fact, I have one of these in my car, and that's how I find a nice neutral pelvis in the car. If you're gonna be sitting for a while, you can bolster behind your pelvis, preferably not the low back but actually the pelvis here to help hold you up. That way all the muscles can just work a little bit all together instead of back here when some of them has to work so much harder. So in our culture, we sit a lot. Maybe you've noticed that about yourself, or maybe it's a good exercise to look at your life and write down how often you're sitting. You might be shocked. So when we are sitting, we can sit in ways that move more of us, such as this. If we're sitting with our back against the chair, we're outsourcing our movement to the chair. We're not doing any work. The chair is doing the work for us. So when we come up, we get to do the work. So we're moving more of our body. We can also, like I said, extend our legs. We can work with crossing them in different ways, preferably evenly not just one side all the time. Um, we can work with twisting. You can sit and move. You can work your shoulders while you're sitting, your neck, so many things. If you're still with me, <laughs> you could also check your ribs. Are your ribs thrust or are they down? If they're thrust, you can get underneath them kind of e easily. And this also heightens the pressure in our system. We want to relax them down, not pull them down with our muscles, but just relax them down. And this might take time because for these to relax down, our lower back muscles have to lengthen. 
So relax these down. You might feel hunchy and that's okay. It shows us our kyphosis, shows us how much tension we have in our shoulders. But anyway, back to the basic sitting alignment. This is just something to think about. If you're constantly leaning back on your sacrum, you might find more period cramps. You might find sluggish digestion. You might find more bloating. Come on up here in the uterus. Um, isn't being tossed back with gravity as much. Not as much downward pressure on her. It might also be easier for your bladder once you're up here. Um, I love I love the uterus. I love all organs. So whenever I think mechanically, I also think about what's happening with the organs. But we'll save more of that for another day. So thank you for listening about basic sitting alignment. And happy sitting. Also happy not sitting. Maybe once you work in how to be how to have more movement in your sitting you can also figure out how to have less sitting have a great day